Hey folks, Ray from DCGrammarker.com here. Today I've got the Wahoo Kicker Core, and we're going to compare it against two other trainers, the Wahoo Kicker 2018 and the Tax Neo purely from a sound level standpoint. There's lots of questions on that as to whether or not the Kicker Core is louder or quieter than the Kicker 2018, that's the full-blown trainer, and then of course how that compares to the Tax Neo, which has been the, sort of the undisputed king of silent trainers over the last couple years. Um, now, I won't go through all the tech specs on this, but basically the Kicker Core core is essentially a 2017 kicker, the full one, that's now made silent and it's had its legs chopped off. Um, that's kind of basically it. Uh, and it's 300 bucks cheaper, which is sort of a really big deal. That means you can get something like the kicker climb for $300 cheaper as well if you did that funky math that you would justify to your significant other. Um, so with that in mind, I'm gonna go ahead and jump on this. I'm gonna bring it up to about 20 miles per hour. Uh, now keep in mind with trainer sound testing and all that kind of stuff, it's all about how fast you're going. It has nothing to do with the wattage. I could do a thousand watts or I could do 50 watts. As long as I'm doing it the same miles per hour, the same speed, kilometers per hour, they will be effectively the same. Now I'm not gonna do a decibel reading on this. I'm not gonna do that for a couple of different reasons. Uh, number one is that the decibel readings are really easy to manipulate and not that people are doing that on purpose. It's just that it's easy to have different environments for different things. In this more echoey location, it's going to show something very different than uh, your living room. And where I put that decibel meter also will differ. If I put it behind the bike, that'll be different than if I put it on the side of the bike. Uh, and of course, each trainer, if I measure them in different places, is going to be different as well. So until I have like a setup I can make exactly the same every single time, it's sort of use of showing you that. Instead, I want to actually just simply show you the audio. Now keep in mind, I have a lav mic on right now, but I also have up there a mic on top of the camera, and I have another mic in the camera itself. So I'm going to give you some different perspectives on audio. Because a lav mic will hide this entire noise, so it's better to go to a mic that's on a camera as opposed to something that's designed to just simply make all the other noise go away. So with all that out of the way, we're just going to jump on the bike here. I'm just going to show you the first one, the kicker core, bring it up to uh, speed here. Now I've got the chain ring on the big ring in the front there and the cassettes down on the small ring right there. You can just hear me clicking in. That's going to be the loudest thing you will hear this entire time. So here we are, 18 miles an hour and 20. I'll let you listen to it for a couple seconds. The only thing you're hearing right now is the drivetrain itself. I would rate my drivetrain on this particular bike as mediocre clean. Not like bike shop clean, not completely left alone for the entire winter dirty. And then a quick sprint. So since my speed didn't change very much, only went to about 24, 25 miles per hour, even though the wattage doubled, there was no real appreciable difference in sound. So with that, let's go ahead and swap off to the Kicker 2018 full, and then the Taxi after that. Okay, so now we have the Kicker 2018 all set up here. And now keep in mind, this is simply $300 more expensive, slightly bigger flywheel, and has an adjustable leg there at the bottom. And that's it, you're paying 300 bucks for that. So we'll go ahead and we'll pop on it and see how it sounds, up to 20 miles an hour as well. Here we are, 20 miles an hour. And a little bit of a sprint. And back to 20 miles an hour. And the sprints are about 750, 800 watts at roughly 25 miles an hour. Also keep in mind that each trainer has different cassettes on it, just slightly different. So they'll sound a little bit different, but that's normal. Okay, let's go ahead and swap out to the Taxineo. Okay, and last but not least here, we have the Tax Neo. This is obviously the most expensive unit of the bunch. Um, depending on where you in the world you are, in the US, it's like a couple hundred bucks more than the Kicker 2018. In Europe, it's usually about the same or cheaper. Uh, the main difference between this and the other ones is this uh, can simulate like road feel, like cobblestones and 
gravel and stuff like that. The kicker can't. Um, it's also silent like the kicker. The kicker comes with a cassette. This one doesn't. The core does not as well. Uh, so there's other differences beyond that in terms of like um, flywheel and stuff like that, but those are the main differences. When it comes to deciding which one has better road feel between the Tax Neo and the Kicker, it's purely a religious debate. Like, you can get two people side by side, they're going to swear one is better than the other. You can probably put them on the same bike and then swap them blindfolded, and they probably won't be able to tell. So, with that, we'll go ahead and spin up to 20 miles per hour. Okay, so here you go. Now you can already hear this has a little bit more of a hum to it than the kicker does. Not much, just a little bit. And we'll go ahead and do a quick sprint. And pull it back again. Okay, so which one is the loudest? Well, it kind of depends. And in some ways, it probably is the Tax Neo, but keep in mind, up until a month ago, that was considered totally silent. Also, if I go ahead and swap on this fan right here, that's gonna pretty much kill any noise whatsoever of your trainer. And that's one of the things to keep in mind. You're really aiming here to go ahead and remove that like high-pitched whine, that annoying sound of a trainer, not necessarily make it totally silent. I'll go ahead and shut this fan off for now. Okay, so to give you one final listen to all those trainers in a row, I'm gonna start off here with the Kicker Core. And then now we have the Kicker 2018. And then finally the Tax Neo. One, two, three, one after another again. And there you go. I'll let you decide which one you think is the quietest trainer um, and whether or not it really matters. All these are great trainers. You're not going to go on with any of these three trainers. Check out my full in-depth review on all of them down in the links below or the videos up here in the, the doohickey there. You'll find plenty more information about all of them. Expect my entire Wahoo Kicker Core in-depth review to come out sometime in September. Right now, Wahoo's saying they're going to start shipping the Kicker Core on September 12th, 2018. So expect my in-depth review on September 12th, 2018. If you found this interesting, whack that like button at the bottom there, as well as the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Have a good one. Like a diamond, you alone. You cut my heart like glass, just like that. Like a lion, uncontrolled. Your mark is on my back, just like that.